Hey, my name is John Daniel Garcia Salcedo, and today I'm going to explain you insertion sort. We use insertion sort when we have a list of elements and we, we want to organize in an increasing order. Okay, now I'm going to use that page uh, called Payton Tutor to visualize an example of Java code and um, implementing um, insertion sort. Okay, I'm going to begin with the first step, and um, in that step, uh, we initialize the right. Um, negative number then we call the function and um, we have a variable called current and that keep the value of the element that we want to insert in the correct position and reubicate, and reubicate its element in the right we are in the first position of the right have the uh, value let three we keep that value in the variable current and we're going to compare it with the previous element. Okay, now we're going to compare it, that position with the previous position. The previous position have number let's one. Okay, now we have let's one in the O position and let's one in the one in the first position. Now we're going to the next um, step is going to make another iteration. Okay, we're going to do the same with the other uh, elements. Okay, now we're in the second position in the right, and that position have the value let's two. The previous position have the value let's one. Oh, let's one is ready than let's two. The variable current is going to take the value let's two, and we're going to put the same value in the second position. So now we have we have let's three, let's one, let's one. The next step is insert the element in the correct position. We're going in the second position right now. So now we're going to go back and, and put the current value in, in the previous position. Okay, now the first position have the value let's two. And we're going to ask again, let's three is lower than let's two. Okay, now the first position have the value let's two. And we're going to see again, the previous position is greater than the current position. No, let's three is lower than let's two. So that position is the core position to let's two. Um, we're going to do the same with the others um, with the others element. Okay, we're going to do the same with the other elements, and we're going to see if the very position is greater or lowest. Okay, we're going to do the same until finish. We're going to uh, or compare every element and see or ask. The previous element is greater than the current element and insert the element in the correct position. So, okay, we already organized the right, so now we're going to print it and, and that's for print each element of the list and now we finish. We have a sorted array using insertion sort. Insertion sort is easy to understand and implement. It doesn't require complex logic. Have a good performance for a small list. In place sorting, it requires minimal additional storage space. Have an unlimited efficiency for a larger list. As the list size increases, insertion sort becomes less efficient. It states a quadratic number of steps to sort n numbers. When the elements are organized in a decreasing order, the algorithm can be affected. Hi, my name is Adolfo Alejandro Arena Ramos, and today I will explain you the shell sort method. Uh, we have the principal class shell sort, and this class has two parts: the method and the main. In the main, uh, we have an array of six numbers. We'll print all and then execute the sort method with an array parameter. You can see the output of the console, yeah? Here, excellent. We execute the method. In the method, uh, we say the size of the array is n. In that case, it's six, excellent. Uh, we make the principal for loop to calculate our gap and recycle and initialize that by the middle of the size. In this case, is three. Okay, six uh, divided uh, by two is three. Excellent. 
Every cycle will divide the gap by two until the gap will be zero. This is important. And uh, we'll make a uh, other for loop for the number we'll verify to sort. In this case, it is array i position. Uh, i is equal to gap. So i is three. And uh, we declare the variable temp. Temp is our number that we need to verify. Uh, our temp number is less four. Why? Because the position e is three. Zero, one, two, three position. Three position in the right is less four. Excellent. And then declare another variable j and another follow to evaluate the position where j is equal i. Yeah, you can see this. Excellent. If j is more or equal to our gap, an array j less gap position is more than 10, and therefore the for loop. Well, you can see the for loop here. j is equal i, I mean 3. And j is more or equal the gap, I don't know, j is 3, the gap is 3, yeah, j is equal to the gap. And array j less gap j less gap is zero okay array zero is more than temp i don't know array zero is less 32 and temp is less four less four is bigger than uh, less 32 so uh, this four doesn't enter yeah uh, if this for loop doesn't enter that means that our temp number is in the right position yeah and we'll continue that way until all the numbers will be sorted yeah, here, array j is equal temp. Look, array j is equal temp. Uh, that means that the position of j, the position three is equal temp. Temp is less four. Uh, that means less four is in the right position, yeah? So we continue content with the four again. i is not more three. i is now four. And uh, temp is, Array i zero one two three four less eight so four j is in this moment four so four equals e excellent j is more or equal the gap yeah the gap is three and j is four and array j less gap uh, is more than temp j less gap is four less three is one array one is more than temp zero one less one is more than ten that is less eight less one is more than let less eight yeah that's true so enter the four and the and this code replace the places of the numbers yeah and we clone the less one in the position four and exit from the right so what happened when the four doesn't enter, uh, the array j position will adopt a value of temp. Array j position, j is one, uh, zero, one, less one. So array one position will be equals temp. Temp is less x. So now array one position is equal to the less x. And this is the same way for all the numbers until the array will be sorted, yeah? You can compose all the execution here. And the array is now sorted. When the array is sorted, our code will print uh, all the numbers again. Uh, this way will the title sorted array. Sorted array will be print uh, all the numbers. And our array is sorted now. Okay, between both methods, um, shell sort is a variation of the insertion sort method, really. Uh, it allows to exchange a far items which can move um, more efficient when the right items are shoved for apart from their original orders. Uh, it uses a gap to compare items uh, far apart from each other, and they recursively close uh, in the gap until all elements are sorted. Uh, an insertion sort works only with one sequence initially, the first element of the array, and expand it using the next element. Uh, it compares every single item with all the rest elements of the list. Uh, yeah, and it's simple and exhibits good performance when dealing with a small list. Uh, that's the principal characteristics, that's the principal topics, and that's all.